Good afternoon and welcome to the launch of Shapes and Shades. Uh, this is Goodrich Global's first virtual event and it's my pleasure to welcome every one of you from wherever you are in the world. Goodrich Global, of course, the curators of space, and my name is Joe Augustin. I'm very pleased to be your MC. For those of you perhaps unfamiliar with who I am, I'm Singapore's first forcibly retired male model. Uh, and I'm, I'm sorry if I'm on your screen right now hurting you. Uh, we have a great program lined up for you, and, and, and any good event in fashion, in design, always has one of these, so we're not going to be left out. We have a selfie contest as well, an Instagram contest. All you have to do is tag Goodridge underscore global with the hashtag shapes and shades, or Goodridge, and uh, also the hashtag wall coverings, hashtag walls, hashtag Goodridge global. You can find those details in the chat, by the way. We're giving prizes for the first 100 of you uh, who are out there tagging yourself on Instagram. Make sure your post is public as well so that everyone can see that. Uh, we'll be sending out the uh, Goodrich premiums by post, so give us some time to get to that. Again, a very warm welcome to all our guests from all over the world, as we said, uh, on behalf of the uh, management here as well. Very pleased to have you join us today. Uh, we want to make sure that everything is in good form before we start. Uh, the format today is going to be one where the, the, the chat is uh, kind of disabled right now because we have so many people from so many places. It's going to be very difficult to try to sort that out in real time. Plus, we've also disabled the, the audio, but uh, we'd love for you to please enable your video so that we can see you and we can also see your reactions. Uh, speaking of being able to see you, this presentation is best viewed if you're if you're on a desktop especially please choose gallery view uh, because what will happen from time to time is the view will change and move back to the gallery view so uh, if you stay in gallery view uh, from time to time we'll have a speaker that's going to be featured and they're going to show up right in front of you as well if you have any questions that do come up, uh, you're more than welcome, please, to email us. And the email address is info at goodrichglobal.com. Now, during the course of this presentation, there's also going to be some polling done. And uh, just so you understand what's going to happen at that time is those polls are going to be open for just a few seconds. There's no need to leave them on and have people wait around for the answers. Uh, maximum of 30 seconds. So as soon as you see a poll come up, we hope you will participate as well. And of course, it's a mixed audience that we have with us. We have a few hundred people uh, who are joining us, customers, friends of Goodrich. Uh, we're looking forward to hear from you this afternoon as well. Of course, someone who's been ready to go for, for the last hour and, and really wants to hear from you and would like you to hear from him as well is our first speaker of the day. And he is none other than COO of Goodrich Global. Would you please welcome Mr. Yasushi Furukawa? Hey, hello, everyone. Welcome to our first virtual event. I'm so happy to see everyone here. Unfortunately, we are facing the COVID-19 now. It's a very, very difficult period for us. But we believe good interior atmosphere make everyone happy. So I hope you will enjoy our wall covering presentation. Please stay safe and healthy. Thank you very much, Mr. Yasushi. Well, as he said, the environment around you can be very important. It's pleasing, it's inspiring, uh, and of course, one of the environments or one of the elements that we're not going to be uh, able to miss for at least the, the, the duration of this, uh, this COVID-19 are going to be the walls. So it's my pleasure now to introduce someone who is going to take you through a little bit of a shapes and shades journey. Uh, and she is the head of marketing at Goodrich Global. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Jean Leong. Hi, everyone. This is Jean Leong from Gurish Global. I'm so happy to see everyone here. So many familiar faces. And then I'm getting a lot of WhatsApp texts telling, hey, I'm here, I'm here. I am so happy to see that. Now, we have so many designers, property developers, uh, homeowners, hotel owners, all here to enjoy the short presentation. 
So let me share with you what is Shapes and Shades all about. It is actually a virtual platform where we are actually sharing all sorts of interior furnishings for the walls to the floors. But we are going to be kicking off with the walls. Today, we're going to actually showcase all the wall covering trends that's happening from spring and summer 2020 from Europe right up to America. One of the things that we have worked with so many interior, furnish, um, interior designers, hotel owners, one of the things they always say to me, Jean, I need that wall to look fabulous. I need that wow factor. I need to make my customers feel comfortable. So today, I'll be sharing some of the trends. And besides the trends, I'll be sharing with you a three-step process that Goodrich have gathered over the years of how to make that wall fabulous. So creating the wall with flare is definitely very important. Seven seconds. Seven seconds is, is what people take to know and make a first impression of you. This is not what I came up with. It is something that Harvard Communications came up with. Seven seconds. It takes seven seconds to make that first impression. Four seconds are spent on the visuals. People are absorbed of how the whole thing looked, while else three seconds is spending on finding the right word to describe what they see. What does this seven seconds have to do with Goodrich? Well, we have been in the business of making that first seven seconds memorable. We have 37 years of experience, and we always believe positive first impressions that last makes the difference. Creating the walls with flair, why does it really matter? Why? One of the basic, most basic principles of interior design is that every room needs a focal point or a single design element that will instantly draw the eye to the space and give the viewer a sense of what to expect. You need to wow the customer, convey the company's brand essence and to set the mood and to get a sense of belonging. Wall covering also brings a sense of texture and really it makes the room appear finished. Wall covering is not only just simply creating a home oasis to chill out. So we came up with this three essential three steps to selecting the wall coverings for the right wall. What are these three steps? Location, themes, and color. Location, location, location. That is a common thing I always ask my customer. Even we have visual designers, set designers. We say, what is the focal wall? What is the first wall that you want to see when you step into a space? Now, what is a focal wall? It should be a highly visible wall that can be seen from the entrance and it's really to highlight that focal point of the space. It can be a feature wall or it can be a long wall. To illustrate this point, location, let me share with you one of the projects that we have done for a customer. This is a restaurant that we just recently dressed up last year the last quarter of last year, and it is located in the central area. And they have just gained their one Michelin star status. And they said, Jean, we need this place to look even more spectacular, fabulous, and most important, to make the customer feel very intimate, very comfortable. So what I did was at the storefront, at the restaurant front lobby, this is a picture that I've taken when I visited the place to eat. You are welcomed by a panel, which is a hand-painted panel done in Asian fusion-inspired jingle leaves set against a vinyl wall covering. All right, there was a full panel there. And when you walk through the storefront, you actually enter into many private rooms. This is one private room that they have using the hand painted. So what they did was they actually had a lot of nature inspired themes throughout the restaurant. This is another bigger room that they had for a bigger crowd. 
what the company did was they wanted to have more intimate rooms because they realized there was a need and many requests for customers who say, hey, I would like to book a private room. So they have private rooms all ranged from three, four, four seaters right up to 25. This is another private room that they have for food tasting. Now I'm going to bring you through to some of the pictures that were shared with me by our sales team from Indonesia. They were very proud of this project. And this, this project was a condo project done by District 8, the designers from District 8. What they did was they created a beautiful ambience at the front of their house foyer. With this particular wall covering, very subtle but yet it speaks of comfort. This is Serenity from the Philip Jeffries collection. This is a wow factor. This is a project that was submitted by the Malaysian team that took a picture and they did. They were very proud of this digital printed wall covering that they have done for the Pullman Hotel in KL. If you look at it, this is digitally print, but you look closer, there is embellishment of rape embellishment buttons on it to give it a 3D effect. They wanted something very different. The customer wanted something very different. This is a project that I did for a boutique in the orchard. The customer wanted a very spectacular looking wow factor again, but they wanted a gold color with hand painted. They wanted a modern boudoir looking feel. So they actually selected the chinoiserie feel. So we actually selected the uh, peony, imperial peony, alongside with the gold vinyl wall covering in feel. So they actually selected the chinoiserie feel. So we actually selected the uh, peony, imperial peony, alongside with the gold vinyl wall covering in feel. So they actually selected the chinoiserie feel. So we actually selected the uh, peony, imperial peony, alongside with the gold vinyl walking feel. So they actually selected the chinoiserie feel. So we actually selected the uh, peony, imperial peony. Using wall covering can definitely change the look and feel. We have talked about location, identify the focal wall. What is the second thing? Themes. What is the theme that you want? Remember I talked about the restaurant. They wanted a nature, but yet artistry kind of theme. Themes. Themes is talking about personal style, expressing what you want the customer to feel if you are talking about a commercial space. What is the seven popular themes that Goodrich has gathered over the years Artistry, abstract, mural, nature, geometrics, digital print, and color bar. These are some of the seven frequently asked themes that customers has approached us on. And how do we approach it when we handle uh, queries from designers and homeowners is, what is your style? What is the theme that you are looking at? And that would definitely shortlist a lot of time for us because really we have 8,000 collections available at Goodrich Global. I want to start with artistry. Artistry is, in our interpretation, the lovers of craftsmanship. A space to indulge in curiosity and use your hands to become makers and celebrate perfect imperfections. Now, we feel that this uh, wall covering is frequently used for many hotels, homes, to actually bring forth the unique personality of the owner. This is my favorite. It is using the high contrast design. It's making a comeback. We're looking at brown. Brown is be the new black. This is a new design from Philip Jeffries called the Deco Ham. What is it uh, inspired by? It is inspired by the Art Deco era, as well as leaves. Let me go through it. We always have seen a trend 
for 2020 to 2021, we are going to see more highly crafted, unusual materials, particularly featured in furnishings and architects. We're going to see people using all sorts of natural materials and putting together into a furnishings for the wall. Abstract. Inspired by lines and colors, it expresses space that celebrates individuality and enjoy the pleasures of living. Now, this is a new collection. It is larger than life, but it looks into large strokes. This is a fantastic wall covering for a, a big wall, especially in the lobby or the foyer of a house or living room. This is a new collection that is showcased just two weeks ago by the French wallpaper called Casa Decor Brand. They have came up with a new set of collections that is fantastic looking. And this is actually a combination of abstract strokes and lines. And we see a lot of interesting bow colors, but inspired by nature again. So they're using large strokes to actually bring forth the fabulous florage and flowers that have visited the uh, French forest the parts where they got the designers got inspired and they came up with this design. This is my favorite wall covering that is also another very hand, handcrafted wall covering. This is really inspired by lines and colors. The orange and the blue is fantastic contrasted together and it really helps to dominate a space. Strong brush strokes that simply speaks of a personality. Mural. My question here, does mural needs to be in an entire wall? A wall covering can be installed onto a panel and attached against a wall. Wall covering has taken lots of advancement. Nobody just simply now simply put the wallpaper against a wall. They also think of it, how can I use it as a piece of art? We look at this circular deco elements, circular deco elements that brings forth the energy of clarity, peace, and freshness. Now, this is also a new collection from Casa Decor under this wonderful name called Utopia. Utopia has a lot of interesting soft color shades, circular symmetry that allow that kind of um, wall covering to be used for living room as well as the dining rooms and the bedrooms. This is another favorite of mine. It's called the Mirage by Casa Decor. If you look at this, where is the wall covering? The wall covering is only here and it's installed a wall that is reflected over a water landscape. It's a very common trend now that I've seen a lot of wall covering companies are doing is that they're going for the yin yang inspiration. The circle stands for being fulfilled perfection and unity. This is a mixture of circular architecture, creating a mood that is young and vital, modern and relaxed, soulful and nostalgic. This is wonderful to be in a, a nature wellness kind of projects that you might have. When we talk about focal wall, does the wall covering need to be very bright in colors? No, not necessary. That's not what iFinger came up with. This is iFinger European. This is also French from Casa Deco. What they did was they created, they wanted to create a friendly and welcoming home sweet home feeling. So they actually use complimentary hanging inspired scenes of these plants and also the jungle in light muted colors from the great outdoor and they bring it indoor. This is actually a quite an interesting look that is very good and ideal for co-working spaces. Now, co-working spaces is becoming a very common phenomenon. In Singapore, in Indonesia, and in Malaysia, a lot of uh, co-working project owners, they want to make the place cozy and inviting. So they actually use wall coverings of this, this inspiration complemented with wooden furniture to bring the home sweet home feeling back into the office. Now, nature, earth-inspired motives. This is another theme that is very common. We are seeing nature 
designs motors moving away from simply that one colored leaf they are mixing the inspirations from Vogenvilla and the trees and the nature from Spain this is a new Cohen Sun design that gained experience from Spain this is a fantastic bow color this is one of my favorite orange and green, they're bringing nature back into the indoors, especially we are seeing a lot of the COVID-19 and many people feel very miserable facing that plain wall. They feel that they need to buy a plant or why not offer them a wall of flowers and greenery that will never wilter or die. This is a new pillar of design. Now, animal prints. Animal prints has just simply gone from leopard prints right to zebra prints. And we are seeing very interesting, very strong trend right from the American designers right to European designers. They are bringing this trend of the savannah and the safari back to the walls. We look at this black and gray. This is a zebra print from Eye Finger. This is also from Eye Finger. This is a very interesting, very cartoon-like panther uh, leopard. This is from Zion, Halloween, and the black and white never fail. That is the nature inspired. We move on to this natural luxury. We're seeing more natural materials with a luxurious spin, like the marble finishes in bathrooms. If you look at this, these are light and subtle. You know, what we like about this, this is simply just a wall covering and it changes the look absolutely. It's easy to install and fantastic to dismantle. And really, if you compare it with the actual installation of such marble finish, a wallpaper like that actually costs a fraction of it. So think about this. You know, there's another trend that customers say, oh, you know, I don't want to go all white but yet I want some texture, this would be a fantastic wall covering to offer the customer. This is an industrial look. Nature doesn't need to be leaf. It could be elements of nature motifs being inspired to put into the wall. Now, these industrial looks are on point with the current design trends. We are seeing a lot of metals and prosperous concrete. Incidentally, this wall covering is a digital print, all right? Digital print is making a big comeback and it's, always, it's even more for 2020, 2021. Geometrics. When we talk about geometrics, it's repeating forms and colors. Geometrics does not restrict you with squares and the triangle. It's also, you could use palms. This is by Halloween. Style Library from the UK, they actually use the leaf motifs and actually do a repeating print. This just came out for the summer collection. Blue is also another new color we see trending. This is clashing of palms and animals. So in the past, we keep seeing, oh, animal print will be just animal print. But now we're seeing nature prints clashing, contrasting against black and white animal prints. This is a fantastic picture of the zebra. It looks very lifelike. It's not flat. There's a lot of dimensions to it. And if you look at home, consumers are worrying less about matching furnishings. They are more about finding a pattern that they love. They love the eclectic look. They love covering the whole wall. They love to mix two wall coverings together. Does a wall need to have just one wall covering? Not necessary. You have to find your style, express yourself and express your creativity. This is a new collection from Philip Jeffries, again from the Savannah. They are inspired the red retin look. Again, it's repeating forms and colors. It's really symmetry and dynamic. It's larger than life again. This is a trend that we've seen throughout all the wall coverings that we have seen from eight designers. They have over the top collection design motives. Structural designs is back in terms of geometrics. We are looking at a lot of buildings repeating. And this is another one that is from Cohen Sun, inspired again by the Spanish background. 
if you're looking to create a very European-like restaurant, a chill-out room, a dining room in your home, why not think about this? The terracotta look, the salmon colours, the hues are back again. Really very strong. And they actually put details in this wall covering. And Co and Sun, the UK company, designers are very strong in creating interesting designs within the wall covering. That if your clients are looking for animal, very whimsical looks and nature kind of looks, Co and Sun will be the collection to look at. Now, if you want to be more subtle, you need to have a wall covering for the den, for the cigar room, for the, the men of the house. Think about this, the sculptured look. This is again a wall covering. They are actually using several uh, structural designs, very industrial, but put against very nicely in different tones. Metallics um, and greys are always very popular among designers because customers love that look. This is another look that is just in, just launched, away from the, the zebras, away from the leopard. How about the snake? Now, if you look closer, it is larger than life kind of snake print. And every wall covering, the natural material, is actually pieced together to showcase uh, the python skin design. This is really very nice. This is the alternative if you want to bring nature in, but with the industrial feel for a commercial space. This is fantastic for a boutique, a fashion boutique. This is one of my favorite over the top. Digital prints, as I said, is coming big and strong. You can come up with your own designs, make sure it's 500 DPI and it's very good resolution. And of course, make sure you buy the rights to it. And we can actually at Goodreach do the printing for you. Let us know the size that you want, the wall, the height, the width. And we will actually come up with the strike off print for you, the wall covering, and you can do and then subsequently move the installation. I've done many of these digital prints for customers who is in the hotel. Nami Hotel in Singapore is one of the boutique hotels that I've worked with, the students as well as the owner, in coming up with an ombre orange wall covering because they wanted to own the design. They wanted a wall that speak and express the, the, the design. So we have done that. This is another very eclectic kind of digital print with the lantern, the Chinese lanterns, but inverted to the, the other side. Digital wall coverings are used in many of the spaces as designers want to take advantage of unlimited repeats and colors to create inspiring patterns. All of us are always restricted with the four walls. How about the fifth wall? Now, what is this fifth wall? The fifth wall is actually the ceiling. This is another project shared with me by the Indonesian sales team that they're really proud of, that they did for the ceiling, a digital print for the ceiling of the Western Hotel. The wallpapered ceilings are another way to contrast and can be incorporated in a room, a large commercial space. And there's no better surfaces for wallpaper because it would never get damaged. The large expense of space makes for a truly dramatic feature of any room, especially if you have a home or a project that has high ceiling. The wall, the fifth wall, consider that fifth wall to put up digital print or wall covering. Color bars. What do I mean by color bars? Colors, lights and shades constantly surround us. The use of different colors is the quickest and dramatic way to actually transform a room. Colors can be used in so many ways. We're seeing a trend now, very new by BN, in curves, shades of pink and green and with gray. And we are also seeing stripes, not just simply stripe down, but diagonal stripes. The third step is choosing the right color and lighting to match the style. I've talked about location, location, location. Second is themes. Now I'm heading to choose the right colors and lighting to match the style. Elaborate the chosen themes with colors to highlight and complement the overall style of the space. Don't just simply think about that one wall, but how is that wall going to interact with your furnishings, your carpets, your 
furniture. You know, there's so many things about, and even the lighting. Color blocking for eye-catching effect and zoning. Color is the new neutral. People are moving away from neutrals, the beige, the grays, and whites. They're experimenting with colors. Colors can be a plain color, like we see the linens here, and it can be with embossed design. Colorful, but yet subtly designed. Colors will be the new neutrals. Neutrals will be replaced with warm colors, saturated hues, jeweled tones. Walls will all serve as opportunities for more colors. Creating walls with flair, that really matters. I've just touched on the three essential steps to selecting the wall covering for the right wall. Location, themes, color. This three-step process would definitely be something you can remember and ask the customers, how can I help you? But before I help you, please tell me where's the location, the theme that you want, and the color to go with. I've just touched on so many things, but if you would like a, a deck of my slides, please um, connect with me on LinkedIn and I'll send you the slides through info at gurishglobal.com. Creating walls with flair, thank you. Now, before I end off, I'd like to thank you for spending so much time with me, for me to share with you. I love to have conversations with all interior designers, architects, and even homeowners. All right. Do pop in uh, to Goodrich Global if you are in Singapore. We do have a satellite office now at JASCO, which is a co-working space in Marina, Marina Square. So do drop us um, a call and we'll chill out there. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much, Jean. And I hope you enjoyed that presentation as well. It makes me think a lot about that first seven seconds that you have to make that impression. I love that idea. So you've seen now generally what the trends and styles are, the latest uh, in terms of what, what is new. And so you can tell your, 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 your customers about that. Uh, it's my pleasure now to introduce to you someone who can tell you about the collection, the actual collections that uh, Goodrich has with them currently. And he is none other than the assistant manager of wall covering division. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you now to Mike Lim. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being with us uh, in this uh, session. I'm Mike Lim from Goodrich Global Wall Covering Team. Today, my topic will be introduce you with Goodrich Wall Covering, which including the following points. This will take around five to seven minutes. Okay, first of all, I would like to start with the stocking series, Goodrich Sangesu collection that we have. And we have uh, Effect, Evolve 2, SP, all items come in vinyl surface, paper backing, and 92 cm width. Okay, basically, uh, Effect and Evolve 2 were the selection we pick up from Sangesu Vinyl, Reserve, and Vine. And we do have token stock available in Singapore. Okay, do not worry if your select selection is out of stock in Singapore and available in Japan warehouse. We can arrange the goods within one to two weeks upon your confirmation because we do have weekly air shipment from Japan to Singapore. Okay, next slide, you will have an idea what is the design available in this collection. But of course, SP collection is towards uh, simple and plain. Secondly, let's move on to white wall series. These are type 1, 15 ounce vinyl fabric bag collections, suitable for light commercial, low traffic area, example, hotel room and office. All these collections were in stock Singapore and also in some of our regional offices like Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, China, Hong Kong, and so on. Kindly be in mind, all our stock move on daily basis. It's good to secure your order in advance. If you need larger quantity for your project, please always inform our sales colleague so we can help to manage the lead time from our end. Okay, third stocking series, we have Premier War Deluxe 6 and Walk which are in stock in Singapore. Okay, actually it's very easy to identify this stocking program by its cover because uh, we have this uh, Herm Hermes orange color on the cover page. Basically all our premier wall series 
were produced in USA and Europe. These are type 2 20 ounce vinyl fabric bag wall covering. And it is suitable for hospitality, commercial area, example, retails, office, hotel corridor, public spaces, and so on. Next, we will have our indent collection. Okay, when you see indent, word were indicated at the sample book sidebar or this uh, red colors uh, cover page. This means the goods will have to fly in from Europe or US. If the stock is available in the factory, basically the lead time is around two to three weeks to arrive in Singapore. Both Ruby and Sapphire were just uh, introduced in the market early this year. And I hope you have a copy of this book in your office. Do not worry if you don't have the physical sample book, we do have e-catalog available in Goodrich website. Okay, these are some of the images from our premier wall collections for your reference. As a one-stop solution provider, we do have in-stock wall covering adhesive to support your needs. Basically, WA201 come in powder form. Just follow the instruction and mix with water. The coverage is around two to three residential row. Okay, for WA202, it is a pre-mixed adhesive come in 5 kg per tube. The coverage is around 5 square meter per kilo. Let's move to second part of my presentation. Preview on our coming collection, curated fan deck. Okay, the program was very much affected by COVID-19 and caused the delay on the launching. Finally, by now, we target to release the sample by end of June to all region. This is the first time we work with a local designer in town to select the best 100 SKU from 1000 SKU. Okay, I hope we have the chance to work with all of you from various countries for our coming development. This, de this definitely will help us understand and also serve you better. Okay, let's move to the, to the last part of my presentation. Okay, according to World Health Organization, WHO, we need to expect new normal even if current lockdown or circuit breaker measure are eased. This means most probably some of the company will adopt work from home method as a new normal. In preparation to handling this situation, we need your contribution to let us know which sampling method is your preference. And we have type A, big book with actual sample swatch up to 300 SKU selection. And we have type B, big book with actual big sample like what we have shown in the PowerPoint. And we have 50 choices available. Okay, type C, we have fan deck with actual sample in the deck and we can accommodate up to 100 SKU for selection. And the last type D is a shoe box design carton that able to include up to 10 collection or 100, uh, 1000 SKU in the box for your selection. Okay, please proceed to select for your preference now. And I hope this will help us to serve you better in our coming new launch. That's bring me to the end of the uh, of my session. Then I've talked about a good rich wall covering collection, preview of a new launch, and also the new sampling method. Once again, thank you. And uh, that's part for my session. Well, thank you very much, Mike Lim, who is the uh, assistant manager of wall covering division. Uh, I think it's really fantastic that uh, you know a company is not just trying to guess what it is that's going to help you best, but what they're doing is actually engaging directly like this. So this kind of a session where you are face to face, so to speak, with us uh, is really a tremendous opportunity. So I hope you found that to be uh, very useful. Uh, and uh, in your feedback, I hope you'll tell you'll tell uh, Goodrich about what's good and what uh, you'd like to see some improvements in as well. 
Uh, th- this is uh, not quite the end yet. There are a few more things to tell you about. Uh, as uh, Gene sort of mentioned along the way, there's a new podcast. And this is a podcast that I'm hosting with Gene, and it's called uh, Shapes and Shapes. Uh, last week, we released the Walls with Flair episode, and the next episode's coming out really soon. It's called uh, Healing Spaces, Rejuvenating in Beauty. That's going to be about uh, all the kind of stuff that you can do to help in the process of someone healing, so medical facilities, and also about inner peace and inner wellness. All those great things coming up in that particular podcast. You can find it already on Spotify and anywhere else that you can find great podcasts. You're looking for Shapes and Shades by Goodrich Global. Now, Uh, If you would like to arrange for a sample or perhaps a personal Zoom meeting, or if you have a question uh, that you'd like answered, please send an email to info at goodrichglobal.com. Remember to send that feedback along as well about what else you'd like to see, what you'd like to have at these uh, particular events. I'm not sure, uh, as someone joked a while ago, that we can do catering, but uh, we'll see what we can do. As for the selfie contest, just a reminder about that. On Instagram, we're doing a selfie contest. All you have to do is tag at Goodrich Global and uh, hashtag uh, as uh, we will sh- show you on the screen in just a while. But uh, hashtag Shapes and Shades as well as uh, Goodrich Global and a few others. And for the first 100 of you, there are going to be some premiums that are going to be sent out to you by post. We've come now to the end of the event, but please, before you go, if we could do something, we'd like to get a little photograph of as many of you as possible. So uh, this is unscheduled, but I think it'd be really fun if we could get you all on the camera. So if you can just drop the spotlight on me, and I'm going to get all the audience to just wave your hands. If you had a good time here today, you found what was useful today, just give a wave up to the cameras. And we have something like 20 pages of, uh, of people on Zoom. So give us a moment to take a few pictures, but if you can just smile up to the camera and give us a wave, that would be fantastic. And as you're doing this, I guess what I'm going to do is take the opportunity to say farewell from all the management all over the globe. We, we, we have people here, of course, in Singapore, but also uh, Goodrich Global in, in, in the many countries. We say farewell to you, to all of you who come from near and far to join us today. We wish you all the very best. We wish you that you stay very safe. And remember, if there's anything at all that we can do to help make this better for you, please don't hesitate to tell us. Uh, my name is Joe Augustine. It's been my pleasure being your MC on this first ever virtual event by Goodrich Global. And uh, I hope to see you sometime in future. Thank you so much for being with us.